Hey guys, it's Channing. Today I'm going to be unboxing my February Bride box. Box um, this month, this month, this subscription is about $39 a month and um, it's supposed to come with a bunch of goodies to help you get ready for your wedding day. And like I've said in past videos, because this, in my opinion, is a little bit more of an expensive monthly subscription, I am a little bit more nitpicky with the items that are in it. Hence why um, I have opened this so I can kind of give more of an in-depth review but hence why like some of these things I will kind of be picky about but I just want you guys to know it is my honest opinion I don't um, nitpick it I don't knit I can't talk today I don't sugarcoat anything I give you what you want so like always it comes in this really nice box I do think out of all subscription boxes I've ever got this is the cutest box that um, I've ever gotten so I think they do a really nice job with it it always says, you're engaged, and then it comes with beautiful tissue paper. And then it always comes with a card telling you what's in the box, and there's usually about um, four to five items. Usually, there's only four on the card, and then sometimes there's an extra. So this month, there is four items. So, let's get into it. The first item, it's like a pack of things. And the first thing, it is from Wild Heart Paper. So um, it is from wildheartpaper.com and it's just for like paper things and all your goodies. And there's a card on top. It says, will you be my bridesmaid? And it has a bunch of pastel colored jewels. And inside there's um, nothing obviously. So you can like give this to your bridesmaids. And it only came with one. I think um, when they do these things, they kind of just give you a preview of what you can buy from the websites I've noticed. So um, I've, on I've obviously already asked my bridesmaid, but I think I'm going to keep this and kind of make a little like scrapbook type of thing for my girls or my sister or like frame this because I think it is actually really pretty. Um, I do wish if they would have sent this, they would have sent a couple more. I know they don't know like how many bridesmaids people have, but I think sending at least like four or five of these would have been nice for um, people to actually pass out to their girls. But I do think this is really cute. The next thing from that company is these little cards and it says a wish for you his a wish for you hers now I don't know let's see what these actually are so I don't know if these are cards that people can write like advice on because I know it's a big thing in weddings they are made of really nice thick um, card stock the printing looks nice it doesn't look um, tchotchke or cheap or anything so I'm definitely gonna look into these to see like maybe I can give this to like his mom or something and give her tell her to like write us some advice or my mom or something I don't know they are cute it only came with one for each of us but I'm glad they came with like a his and hers and not just one and then the final thing in here from that company oh I guess that was from a different company there's another company in here which isn't on this thing see that's what they do they um they have four things on the on the paper but then sometimes they send you a little extras this these mints are from adorableparty.com and some of these things I do have codes for like discount codes so I will have those all listed on my blog and there's just little I'm assuming they're little like butter mints I don't know let's open one they say love faith hope love haze I don't know if that's like trying to show someone's last name h-a-y-e-s so they're just little um Oh, they smell like chocolate. Ooh, they are chocolate. Chocolate mint. I was like, unattractively eat that with my lip gloss on. Those are good. Because I don't really like butter mints. But I like chocolate. So those are really good. So yeah. You get some mints so you can... I know a lot of people like to put them on the tables. Either at your reception, your um, shower. No, it's actually really good. I like those. Okay, now that I'm chewing, the next thing in here is a beauty item, kind of. It's from Eyes by To Go Spa, and it's replenishing, restore, and nourish delicate under eye skin with coconut eyes. They are three under eye treatments with collagen, amino acids, and vitamins. Let's open this. Well, hold on. Let's look on them. It's supposed to be a luxurious under eye treatment, which would be very good to do. Since there's three, I would probably do one like. If you haven't had your engagement photos yet, maybe before you get your engagement photos, do one before your shower, and then do one before your wedding day. And 
you're supposed to apply the pads below your eyes, leave for 15 to 20 minutes, remove and discard, feel great, look great. I've tried like eye pads before. Usually um, I get them at the dollar store, which kind of, this reminded me that I went to the dollar store the other day and bought some and I don't know where they went. But it has like tips to show you how to use them. And this is what one pack looks like. And they do, this pack actually feels like really heavy. So I know I can tell these are gonna be like really, really soaked and feel really nice. So before I put my blog post up, I'm definitely gonna be trying these out so I can let you guys know because I think that is a really, um, nice thing to have just to get rid because the eyes can really just make you look tired and um, sick even when you don't feel like it. So that is a really good treatment and I like that it comes with three and not just one. The next thing in here is in this little bag and it's really cute. It has this little ribbon on it. So let's open it up. It's from Phases of Love which offers one of a kind items for like photo booth props, wedding signs, all that stuff. Uh oh, one got a little bit so it's just these little like, like this one's a mustache, this one's lips, this one says be mine, this one says love. They're just little things like if people have photo booths, they can do the props or you can just have these around. Um, like for your, um, this might be cute for, I'm trying to do another engagement section, I, session. I've already had one and I'm trying to do another one because I actually get a free one with my wedding photographer. So this might be cute for us to use. So I'm going to hold on to these because it does say that. But um, this is something that I would be nitpicky about because I don't know the prices of these. Like I said, I will have that on my blog. But these, um, I don't know if you guys can see, they, they're basically cardboard. They're basically like cardboard that someone cut out and then you could hot glue it to this stick. Like, yeah, I know, like, that's probably how professional ones are, but these literally look like, I, like, I could make these out of cardboard. So I wouldn't pay a lot of money for these. I think most photo booths now, if you get a photo booth, they come with props. So I guess these would be more for if you try to just do it yourself, photo booth with, like, a sheet as background, your own camera. These would be cute, but I honestly think you can make these on your own. But they are, my two favorite are these two. These ones kind of look too tchotchke for me. But these two are really cute and I might be using this for something in the future. So it was nice to get, especially if you're not very crafty or you don't have the supplies, this company would be nice to get just little things for like pictures and stuff. And I do like that it came in this really nice bag. Okay, the last thing in here are two koozies and they're from the bride box. Sometimes the bride box like throws in their own kind of brand stuff and one says bride, one says groom. I don't really drink, well, I don't drink at all beer, but my fiance does, but I think these are really cute. Like even if I just drink a can of pop, I think these are so cute. I like how it's pink and black. And these are a nice little fun thing to throw in because koozies are always fun and nice. What does this say on the inside? Oh, it's from, it says discount mugs. So maybe that's the website that they're from, but it, on here it just says they're from the bride box. So you could probably get it on the bride box website. And the other thing I like about the bride box, every month they kind of have a theme. This month is love in the air. And then they send you a little nice laminated card. Like one month it was about picking wedding cakes. One month it was about how to be a good maid of honor. This month is guest list in 30 seconds, which is nice because I'm actually trying to get into the guest list. I'm finding, I'm running into problems and like, you know, like, why am I inviting this person? You haven't talked. Like, just, like, things like that. And it's from the overwhelmedbride.com. So I'm definitely going to be checking out that website. And it's fun. It says, like, questions. And then whether the question, if the answer is yes or no, if they should be invited or not, which I think is nice. And, like, the first one, have you talked to this person in a year? Yes or no? No? Cross them off the list. Have you ever spent time together outside of work? Yes. Move on. No. Cross off. So I think it's just... If you guys want to pause and like look at all the questions, I think it's a really nice little card and I like how they throw these in because I put them in my planner and they're a nice quality and I can pass, keep them and pass them along to my friends that are brides and all that stuff. So yeah, that is my February bride box. I think this box was okay. I don't think it was bad. Um, I like, I liked everything that I got. The only thing that um, I wish I would have got more of are these, will you be my bridesmaids card? I wish they would have sent, like I said, at least four or five so people can give them to their bridesmaids, but I think it's a really pretty card. I'm gonna be keeping it. And the chocolate mints were good. Um, The little photo card, the little construction paper card things. That's probably my least favorite thing just because of the way it was made. But then I think these are really cute and the eye patches were really, really nice. So yeah, um, I will have the link below to, if you wanna to subscribe to the bride box. It's a great gift. Like I'm getting it as a gift 
from my mom. So it's a great gift to give future brides if you don't know what to get them or get yourself or get your friend. Like it's just, I think it's a fun thing to look forward to every month. Like I said, the box is so cute. Like you could even cut this out and just use it as decoration. I don't know. I'm very DIY, DIY like that DUI. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to sign off because I'm getting into that weird state where I just ramble. So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you guys later.